young people and welcome to St Peter's Kids at Home. From here to your home, whatever you're doing, hello, happy Sunday. My name's Mark and I'm the youth pastor and children's pastor here at St Peter's Church in Loud Water. If this is your first time, hello, where have you been? And if you've been here before, welcome back. I'm so glad that my bald shiny head has not put you off. <laughs> We've got a jam-packed service for you guys today, but I must tell you that today is our last service for a few weeks. We'll be back in September. We need a little bit of a rest and then so we can plan all the online stuff we've got to do from September. So you guys get to have a break on a Sunday morning. Maybe you can go on YouTube and watch something else. And it gives us a chance to really plan some amazing things from September. So we're going to go straight in today's service. This is the last time you'll see this face today. We're going to go straight through. I really hope that you guys have a fantastic, fantastic service. Get involved, jump up when you need to jump up, sit down when you need to sit down, play the game, enjoy the game, and I will see you guys in September. But before we go any further, I'll pray and then we'll go. Father God, thank you so much for all that you have done for us. Thank you for being there for us, with us, Thank you for guiding us and doing what you need to do to keep us safe. Help us have a fun, fun, fun Sunday. Help us enjoy our summer holidays. And we're looking forward to coming back in September where we can hear more about you. You guys have been fantastic and I've enjoyed every single Sunday that I've done with you. So for now, for the next few weeks, enjoy it. Enjoy the last one of today. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Goodbye. What do you call two rows of cabbages? A dual cabbage way. Salvation is found in no one else, no one else For there is no other name under heaven Given to mankind By which we must be saved By which we must, which we must, which we must be saved Chapter 4 verse 12 
He ran or he rolled. Jesus died and rose again. Question. What is found in no one else but Jesus? Salutations, salvation or salmon? Salutations, salvation or salmon? Salvation is found in Jesus. By my side, yeah. When I'm feeling lonely and I start to worry, I know God, you're near me and you're always by my side, yeah. And I can lift my hands up to you, I can raise my voice and sing. You are who I put all hope in I will trust you in everything There is hope Today is all about names, and particularly the name above every other name. Yes, even yours. It's the reason we even have a church to gather in. Jesus proved himself the Messiah, the Savior, by overcoming death. If that didn't happen, then all our preaching is useless, and your faith is useless. Which is what Paul says in 1 Corinthians 15, verses 14 to 15. Sometimes we say at Christmas, Jesus is the reason for the season, but He is also the reason for our faith. John 1, 12, 
some people did accept him and did believe in his name. He gave them the right to become children of God. Why did Mary and Joseph name their baby Jesus? I mean, there's nothing magic about it. It was a common Jewish name and is still used today. Saying the name of Jesus won't make a rabbit appear out of a top hat. It's not the letters in the name that make it so important. It's the man with the name. He was the Messiah, the promised deliverer, the one prophesied for hundreds of years. There are many other names for him in the Bible. The bread of life, the good shepherd, almighty one, king of kings, lamb of God, light of the world. Each one of these explain a little more about who he is. Matthew 28, 18, Jesus says, all authority has been given to me. And just who gave him this authority? God the Father. Nothing is too big for Jesus. No sickness, no sin, no army, no ruler, nothing is out of his control. It is the name of Jesus that makes the difference. His disciples soon learned this as they went around helping others. Colossians 3.17, do everything you say or do in the name of the Lord Jesus. The name of Jesus became the most important and powerful name the world has ever known. There is a name above all names, and that is the name of Jesus. Hi guys, welcome back for another craft. This week we're not actually going to be doing a craft, we're going to be doing an experiment. But all you're going to need is some water, uh, some washing up liquid, and some black pepper, and then also a shallow plate or bowl. So first thing we need to do is to pop some water onto our plate. Oops, spill a little bit. Ugh. I've dyed my water blue with some food coloring, so you could do that as well if you wanted. And the next thing that we need to do is we need to put loads of pepper onto the water. There we go, I think that's enough. So as you can see, all of the pepper is all over our plate um, and it's just everywhere. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our soap and you need to take your finger and pop a little bit of washing up liquid on the end of your finger, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Now, today we've been thinking all about how there's power in the name of Jesus. And this little blob of washing up liquid is gonna represent Jesus. And um, this, we're gonna see how powerful the name of Jesus is. So, are you ready? Look at that, how cool is that? Can you see how all that pepper just suddenly dances to the edge? Should we try again? Let's do another one. So why don't you ask a grown up to film your experiment and send it in to us. And of course, as always, if you don't have these things at home, then don't worry, all of the activity sheets as normal will be on the church website. So head over there, print them off and um, get involved. See you soon.